Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee June and I am a fashion and beauty photographer. However, I have started this channel recently to talk about my freelance experiences, business experiences, anything kind of in the creative realm about starting a business I really want to cover and what that means for online marketing and building your business up. Basically anything under the umbrella of business I'm super excited to talk about. So I really wanted to start this channel to help anyone out there who is a creative that is looking at starting a business. And today I'm going to talk about my YouTube experience a little bit and I want to talk about eight of the different things that I wish I knew when I first started my YouTube channel because when I started my YouTube channel I literally had no idea what I was doing and I had no idea where it could take me. I had no idea what to post. It was kind of just like winging it the whole way. And I really wish that I had some of this insight back then. Obviously it's all a learning experience and we all learn things as we go along, but I wanna share the eight different things that I wish I knew before I started and some of the things that I've learned along the way. So for those of you who don't know, I started my YouTube channel, Kaylee June in 2014. So. I did it primarily for photography, tutorials, retouching tutorials, that kind of thing. And I have been doing it for about seven years. So I've definitely learned a lot along the way. Hopefully you won't make some of the same mistakes that I did. And hopefully some of this insight will be very beneficial for you if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel for your creative business. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and talk about eight things that I wish I knew before I started YouTube. Number one, it is hard work. Oh my God, I can't say this enough. And I still find that YouTube is hard work to this day. Uh, I don't think a lot of people actually realize how much effort goes into YouTube and creating a consistent YouTube channel. I think a lot of people think that it's like just as simple as pressing a button and it's so not like it's, I can't even explain to you how much hard work is involved and how much I've done over the last seven years that has been specifically for my YouTube channel, how much time it's taken away from doing other things as well. Um, but definitely worth it in the end. It's just hard work. And I think people actually need to know that YouTubers don't get like millions of dollars just for kind of sitting around and doing nothing. I mean, there's like maybe a few people on YouTube that do that, but like for the most part, for all of us regular people who have started a YouTube channel and especially like for our businesses or for our own marketing, it has been a very long road and it has been hard work. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of the other things that I've found to be very hard work just in this list today, but um, you know, that's all you guys have to know to start off with is you have to be prepared to really put in the hard work with YouTube. And of course it is worth it in the end, but prepare yourself. <laughs> Number two is that you don't actually earn a decent amount of money from Google AdSense for quite a long time. And uh, look, there are exceptions to this rule. There are going to be people on YouTube that earn quite good AdSense earnings after their first few weeks. They might have a video that goes viral and it's great for them, happy days. But unfortunately, like the last point I made, uh, for us regular people who don't have that luxury of having viral videos in their first couple of weeks of starting, it takes a long time to get the income that you'd like from the platform. Um, even something that's like considered a decent amount of passive income each month really does take a while especially for channels like mine that were a uh, educational channel and something that was really a slow burn. It, it was starting off slow and it kind of is still slow growing, although it's always growing. But I think there's a lot of people that come back to that content, you know, seven years later and might still find some of it relevant, which is a good thing. But it is something that you won't see the earnings from for quite a while. So if you're kind of expecting to get on YouTube and start making like 500 to to $1,000 a month in your first few months, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> More than likely, it's not gonna happen. And it's gonna require that hard work that I talked about in the first point to get you to that point where you are earning that passive income. But once again, it is worth it in the end. I'm not trying to scare anyone off here. <laughs> I'm just taking a little trip down memory lane and actually going back to what I thought when I first started my YouTube channel, things were gonna be like. And this is one of those things where I thought I was gonna get like lots of money probably in the first couple of years. And that just was absolutely not the case. So I want to just be realistic with you guys as well in terms of what to expect. If you are gonna start a YouTube channel and you feel that you wanna make a lot of money in your first few months, it's likely not going to happen and it, and it will take a while to build that income. Number three, YouTube is time consuming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I realized how time consuming it is. And along with the first point that talked about hard work, hard work and time consuming. Time consuming was the thing that really I didn't actually think it was going to be too time consuming. Like I said in the first point, I thought it was pretty much just as simple as talking on camera, clicking a button and that was it. I mean, even today, just starting with my new YouTube channel here, 
I've had to rearrange the setting in the background. I've had to rearrange my background like 10 times to get it to where I want it. And then I've had to rearrange the audio because there's echo in the room because there's not much in here yet. I've just moved into my new place. So there's always things that are going to take time to do. And sometimes just like getting ready to sit down and film will take you hours. Uh, most of the time it does for me. I try and simplify it as much as possible, but there's always gonna be things that go wrong or things that you wanna improve. It's important to not be a perfectionist when it comes to this sort of thing all the time though. I think sometimes for a lot of YouTubers and a lot of creatives especially, we do feel like we have to be perfect with everything. And sometimes with YouTube, you do have to learn to just kind of like move on and get it done. But at the same time, there are a lot of elements of it that are time consuming and it is something to be aware of. Number four, a slow growing channel isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I used to think that as I went along that slow growing was just the worst. Like I wanted that 100K subscribers straight away. I, I really wanted to have a big channel uh, where I could help a lot of people with tutorials and help a lot of people with their photography and, and their businesses. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen for all of us. It doesn't happen that we have a viral video or we have something that's going to make our videos take off to the point where we do have a million subscribers or anything like that. So I think it's important to remember that slow growing isn't necessarily a bad thing because quite honestly, I still have some people coming back from 2014 or 2015 when I first started filming videos on my channel and they're still watching me to this day. And I truly believe is it is part of that slow growing element to your YouTube channel and it can happen that way. Sometimes what happens when people have viral videos is that a lot of people will get in the bandwagon very quickly and subscribe to you in that moment but they may not necessarily be around for the next few years because it's just kind of more of an impulse thing, especially if you do have one or two videos that go viral. But as a slow growing channel, a lot of people will get to know you as you go along, especially when you're a smaller channel and those people will still hopefully be watching you five years down the track, 10 years down the track. And it's really nice to know that you've still got those people watching your videos. So it's not always a bad thing, with slow growing and and the other thing with slow growing is that you can have and and really focus on things like seo to help you get more income to help you get more viewership in the long run which is a good thing number five consistency is key and this is something that i have struggled with i think a lot of us as creatives we do struggle with consistency from time to time it's not always easy to get in that creative mood or that filming mood or you know really get into editing and, and all the rest of it that comes along with youtube consistency is so important too with posting and making sure you are posting on a regular basis and I know for people that own businesses, this is something that a lot of you will struggle with if you are going to create a YouTube channel. It's trying to fit it in with the rest of your life and with the rest of what's going on in your business. You want to make sure that you're dedicating your time well to each task that you need to do, especially with YouTube. And especially if you wanna have a consistent posting schedule. Consistency is everything when it comes to getting more views, getting a, a wider fan base, getting more income off of YouTube. And it really does snowball. The more consistent you are with your videos, the more it does snowball in the end. It's not something that I've been super consistent with over the last number of years because I've had a lot to fit in with it, but I also do feel like my time management may not have been quite there. And I didn't really know what to expect with YouTube when it came to starting a channel, but now I do. And so I can say that consistency is really important. So if you guys are looking at starting a YouTube channel, maybe look into how you can create a schedule, or how you can keep getting that consistent content out there regularly. The next point I wanna make is that SEO is also key. So if you don't know what SEO is, it means search engine optimization. And it is one of the most important things that you may learn about YouTube in starting a new YouTube channel. Like when I first started my channel, I'm pretty sure I saw the lettering SEO and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with that. So I basically ignored it for a long time. and. That's probably one of the most important things on this list that I wish I knew back when I started my YouTube channel because I feel like that could have been so much more beneficial for the videos that I was posting back when I first started. Getting people to find your YouTube channel would be one of the most important things you need to know as someone who is starting a YouTube channel. And especially if you're looking at marketing it for your business, your YouTube channel really needs to be found because otherwise, how are you getting the views? Of course, you can cross market across platforms and go onto social media and market your YouTube channel there. But at the end of the day, you really want that YouTube viewership too. You want people on YouTube to find your things. So search engine optimization is pretty much as it sounds. It is like when you're typing into Google and you're trying to find something in Google, it's those keywords. It's keywords that are gonna really help people find your channel. And 
It's something that I struggled with initially, but I would highly recommend looking into it further if you are starting a YouTube channel. I'm going to do a few videos about it on this channel because I think it's really important. And as boring as it sounds, and it is pretty boring, <laughs> um, I think it's really, really important. And it will probably make the difference of whether people are finding your channel or not. So if you want more subscribers, you want more views, you want more traction on YouTube in general, then SEO is going to be really a key to finding a way to make that happen. Number eight is that it's really hard to explain to people how you get paid. And I even struggle with this today, um, but especially when you're talking to people like mortgage brokers and people who are trying to get you a loan for a house and you know, those really important people where you actually need to explain your income very well. It is hard to explain how YouTube pays you. Yes, it's based on ads, it's based on a number of things, but trying to explain this all to people higher up in these fields that could make really huge differences in your life, that's a really hard thing that I didn't think I'd have to ever explain to people. And actually back when I first started YouTube, I just thought it was like, yeah, YouTube pays me. I'm like a partner, that's great. <laughs> and yes, that's true, but there's a lot more to it than that. And sometimes you're gonna have to sort of find a way to explain this to people that makes sense. And always make sure as well when you're getting your income from YouTube, eventually if you do get an income from AdSense that it's all very streamlined and it all makes sense to you in terms of where your income's going from YouTube. Because this is something that might bite you in the butt down the track when you actually have to explain it to other people and you're not really sure how to do so. <laughs> like I said, I still struggle with this today. It's not always the easiest thing, but like that's just one thing that I wish I knew before I started YouTube was that that was gonna be a really hard thing to do. And number eight, and the most important one I think on this list is I wish I knew the power and effect that it could have on my business to start a YouTube channel. I can't believe all of the things that have happened over the last seven years because I started a YouTube channel and it was never something that I was really definitely going to do as well. It was only by chance that my friend who had also started YouTube at the time had told me to get onto it and she said that she was really enjoying it. I had thought about it a few times to start a YouTube channel, but I was like, eh, you know, like I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It was just by chance that I listened to my friend and I'd sort of acted on that little niggling voice in my head that had always asked and wondered about YouTube. And I can't believe, like I said, the things that have happened over the last seven years, the brands that I've worked with, the sponsorships that I've had, the people that I've met through YouTube, the audience that I have met through YouTube and the people that have watched my videos and the support that you receive, it's really, actually incredible what this platform can help you to achieve and, and how this can help you in your business and in ways that you never thought would be possible. And I think in some ways, although it is hard work, it can take the stress off some other aspects of your business. You can actually go into a lot more different areas. You have more variety with your work and your business. And it's incredible to see the people and, and brands that I've worked with even that I would never have had the chance I don't think of working with unless I'd started this channel. I have to say as, as scary as some of these points are, and as much as I wish I had have learned all of this when I first started, it's been a very big learning curve. And I would say to anyone that is starting a, a creative business or a freelance business or anyone that's already a freelancer out there that's ever thought of starting a YouTube channel, do it because you won't regret it. If you're able to put in the hard work, if you're able to put in consistency with YouTube, you won't regret it in the end. It is something that, it is a platform that is so different to many others that I have worked on and, and used for my own business. And it's a decision that I'll never regret having done in starting a YouTube channel. And I'm so glad that I did. And as much as I wish that I had have known that before I started, like how important it was gonna be, because I would have probably focused a lot more on marketing it for my business specifically in terms of like reaching out to brands and reaching out to my audience and, and doing courses maybe earlier. But at the same time, what a learning curve it's been. And I'm so, so glad that I did so in the end. And yeah, for any of you out there who are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, do it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about what I wish I knew when I first started my YouTube channel and maybe these things that you might not have realized before you're about to start your YouTube channel and hopefully you can keep a couple of these points in mind if you are going to start a channel soon. And if you do have any questions about starting a YouTube channel, please put them in the comment section below because I'm definitely looking at doing more videos around YouTube and how it can help your business as a creative. I really wanna do more videos on this because I think there's not enough people on YouTube with creative businesses. So this is something I'm gonna focus on in the future, but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.